Hey there, friendos, newborn Keelik here, welcoming you back to another awesome gaming related video. Today, we're going to be coaxing in, inviting in, practically shoving the spooky ghosts into our Majora's Mask, totally on the Nintendo 64, definitely not emulated for the purpose of this video, but we're basically going to be express shipping spooky ghosts into our Majora's Mask copy of the game, of course. And how are we going to do this? I actually just about 20 minutes ago had the idea, what happens if you load a save into a game where it doesn't belong? And well, why not do it with Majora's Mask? So what we're doing here is we're loading in a save file of Ocarina of Time into Majora's Mask. My thought is that they're somewhat similar and maybe we'll get like a little bit of glitchiness. As it turns out, things were a little bit crazier than I thought. Anyway, let's start off the video, get your spooky ghost hats ready, get your oof goggles on, watch the noise level, I'm gonna warn you that right now. Now I will be editing it, editing it in post for something a little bit more tolerable, but just know this was roughly 30 minutes of my life. Um, I'm pretty sure I have ear cancer now. Pretty sure this gave me ear cancer. Damn. Anyway, let's get started. So we'll just start with a random file here and see what happens. Oh, okay. Uh, do you think this is something we can work out maybe, or is that, uh, I'll, I'll leave, thank you. Well, everything seems fine on the title screen, except Link, you all right there, my boy? You seem to be having some issues. Oh, and it, it crashed hard too. Wow, okay, 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 all right. Why don't we try loading up the save for the Ocarina of Time randomizer for the channel here? Oh, it's wonderful. I, I meant to roll off, but okay. That's probably fine. Oh, I actually got out of it, okay. What, <laughs> what is Link doing all of it? So, you can't hear this right now, but the sound is just, Atrocious. It's literally the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. I, I would rather hear uh, the s Link screaming for 12 hours straight than have to listen to this for more than 10 minutes. Oh, also, charge up a spin attack crashes the game. The more you know. Alright, so we're back into this safe file. I wanted to explore this area a little bit more, just simply because, well, it's the most fun we've had so far. Lens of Truth seems to work just fine. So, Pulling out the bow, we can even see kind of what Link sees. It's it's horrible, to be completely honest with you. It's hard to tell, but that was a backflip. I know you couldn't see anything. The hookshot seems to have about the same result as the bow, naturally. Firing, it doesn't seem to do much. You can still interact with pots and stuff in the world, and every now and then, you might even find yourself swinging in the general area that you're meaning to swing in, which is pretty interesting. And uh, I decided to do a thing here, so we're gonna we're, we're gonna try to climb. And um... did you? That was that was con very concerning. Blink actually made this face. The spooky ghost seems to have infiltrated already. Why don't we head back into that save file, again, seeming to be the most fun we've had so far. Don't open the pause menu. Okay, so what about a door? Maybe we can enter through a door? That's gonna be a negative, alright. I kinda wanna see if we can access the main menu on this file here, which we cannot, unfortunately. That's a screen you can show. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what is even going on here? There's so many pixels and colors. It's kind of pretty in like a weird way, but Honestly, that's not even that bad of a crash. I was able to just reset the system and everything's fine Ah, yes, we must use the save file from our adventure into the forest temple and we've managed to crash the game already uh, Yet again, here we are with this beautiful screen again Not as much of a crash as you might be led to believe we're actually just able to reset the game and go on about our way. No, not you. Back to the forest temple. Okay, so, bombs crashed the game. 
which I find kind of interesting. There are bombs in Majora's Mask, so I would guess that the coating would be relatively the same. I don't understand why bombs would crash it. Maybe bombs as a child wouldn't? I honestly don't know. So I want to keep probing that file to see what we can get ourselves into. How about we try the ocarina? Okay, it function- well, func as functional as that is, I suppose. But the ocarina is functional. As you might expect, leaving the area, per the usual, doesn't really work out for us. So why don't we try a song that's in both Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask? What? And upon a song, crashes the game. Who would have thought it can handle Zelda's lullaby, a song that's not even in Majora's Mask, but upon a song, which is in both games, crashes the game. I, I have no words. Honestly. I'm a problem. Ugh, right. You know, the save file that we put right in, right, right during the Ganon fight. Everyone has one of them, all right? You don't tell me that you don't have a save file that's mid Ganon combat. You know, I got a curious. Why don't we try some games that aren't Zelda? You know, because uh, why not? Mario, you look beautiful. Is it egg form? You know, in classic form. I, oh, well. <laughs> Hey, Hibaro's been working on some moves, I suppose. Let's find ourselves a star here. Beautiful. Collecting a star crashes the game. And if you try to reset, it crashes. Oh. 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 Oh, it crashes real hard. That's not great. Upon booting up the Super Mario 64 save yet again, I was greeted by the exact same music. Who'd have thunk it? However, this time, ledge grabbing just soft locks you. Because why wouldn't it? Anything can happen, okay? This is the Wild West of modding, if you can even call it that. But yes, we are stuck here for assumedly ever, or until that happens. That's probably fine. Let's go. I do find it interesting. Usually, when we enter a new area, it uh, things go on the fritz. Well, okay, I'm done. And with that, we have invited many, many a spooky ghost to our Majora's Mask ROM here. Now, hopefully, I didn't corrupt any of my save files. I didn't really think about that before I started doing this. But hey, consequences will be consequences, and uh, you know, I don't care about the consequence. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. If you do enjoy this kind of video and want me to do more of these kind of glitch expeditions, I think it would be neat to do some different kind of games. You know, maybe get some Banjo-Kazooie or Perfect Dark or something in here. Let me know what game you want me to do next, what game you want me to glitch out and save over which other games. Anyway, I'm Newborn Keelik and I will see you in the next one. I'm out.